In a D.C. courtroom today, two teenage girls are on trial for murder. Yeah, they're accused of beating and stopping a man to death in Northwest last October. Bob Barnard was in the courtroom today. He's standing by live now with more. Bob. Hey there, Jim and Sharin. This murder trial is before a judge, not a jury. Two girls, ages 14 and 15, are charged with first and second degree murder. Because they are juveniles, we can't uh, provide any information that would potentially identify them. Suffice it to say, uh, the story of what they're accused of doing is hard to hear. Prosecutors say the night Reggie Brown was murdered, October 17th of last year, a group of five girls was out looking for a victim and found the most vulnerable person, a frail 64-year-old man who suffered from a lifetime of health issues and was a cancer survivor. D.C.'s deputy chief medical examiner says Mr. Brown suffered multiple blunt force injuries causing his death. Prosecutors say the murder on Georgia Avenue Northwest, just past midnight on a weekday, was brutal and premeditated. The girls kicking and stomping Mr. Brown in the head, removing his belt and whipping him with it, leaving him to die on the street. Malda Brown is Reggie Brown's sister. We want justice for him because we don't want this to happen to no other family. This is really, really sad. Evidence in this case includes surveillance video and cell phone video prosecutors say shows the girls beating Mr. Brown enthusiastically and celebrating afterward. It hurts my heart, I'm going to tell you the honest God truth, to see these young, young people here and what's going on in the world today. And... It's mainly the young people who are committing these crimes. And if, if we don't do something and continuously, like I say, over and over again to let them keep on escaping the consequences, it's going to just get worse for other families. When autopsy photos of Mr. Brown were displayed in court, the two teens on trial stared blankly. Some of his relatives had to step out. The girls have no remorse. Nazia Israel is another of Reggie Brown's sisters. They need to change the stricter laws and maybe these children will stop doing these devilish things that they're doing. Prosecutors say the girls tried to delete evidence, including Instagram messages, and communicated with each other to get their story straight. One of the defense attorneys says what happened to Mr. Brown is absolutely horrible, but that his client did not commit murder and that there was no conspiracy to commit murder that night. Uh, one of the uh, five accused has already taken a plea deal from prosecutors. The other two are set to go on trial in November. Guys.